Hey guys, so today I just want to talk a little bit about how to keep your chinchilla cool. So I know now it is summer in the northern hemisphere, it's actually winter out here in the southern hemisphere, but it's, it's, it's a nice day today. So chinchillas have very dense fur, between 60 and 80 hairs per follicle, and they get hot very quickly because of this. Their natural habitat is at the top of a very cold mountain, so they're adapted to very cold climates. So it's important to remember when you have a pet chinchilla to watch the temperatures in summer. Make sure that it doesn't get too hot for them. Anything above 25 degrees Celsius is a danger zone. I've heard so many stories on so many occasions of people whose chinchillas have gone into like heat stroke and have just like passed out by, you know, the heat and it, you just really don't want to get to that stage which is why I'm going to be telling you some things that you can do to keep your chinchilla cool and the things that I do and just the simple things to do so that you don't get to that disaster stage. The first thing that you can do is get an aircon installed into your house. That is something we did and if it gets too hot that aircon immediately goes on. We don't take any risks and it's very nice for us, you know, it keeps us cool too. The next thing that we do at our house is we have this. This is just a plain tile and this is like a little block of, I don't know, marble, granite, something. And what we do is we put these either in the fridge or the freezer. And then we take it out and put it in the chinchilla's cage and then they go and sit on it or strangely enough they go and roll in it which is what my chinchillas why what I see them do a lot and I have a video of that up on my channel you should go watch that and yeah this is an easy thing to do you just put it in your fridge if it's like if you live in a place that's really hot every single day then you know put this in during the day and then at night when it's cooler then you can put this in the fridge or the freezer and then the next morning you take it out again something like that or if it just gets particularly hot then you can offer it to them as well so this is a really good option and even if it's not like ice cold from the freezer or the fridge it's still a cool spot for them to go and lay on there are other options for I would call it more of an emergency case where you uh, use like a water bottle with frozen water in you could put that next to them or those um, like ice block things but those are also covered in plastic which is why I say it's more of an emergency situation because you don't want your chinchilla to go and chew the plastic so I think that's going to be more once your chinchilla is already in a bad state and you really need to cool them down but you can be there with them you know holding them and holding the ice cube so that they don't chew it and if worse comes to worst and your chinchilla does you know get really affected by the heat the stories I've heard are you know people go and they take their chinchilla and they put their chinchilla in the freezer or the fridge and then they just have to sit there and wait a while until the chinchilla wakes up again and when it does wake up I would highly recommend that you take your pet to the vet you know so that your vet can check out your animal and make sure that everything is still okay and that your, does, your pet doesn't have any lasting effects from that but let's not, you know, let ourselves get to that stage. Just monitor the temperature of your house and just make sure that if it's really starting to, you know, 25 degrees Celsius and above, that you start taking precautions and that you really start watching. There are some sources and sites and what that will say even above 20 degrees is a bit hot for them. So really just monitor your pets. Do safety first and you, know, you really don't want to get yourself into a situation where you are having to put your chinchilla in the freezer. So that's really all to it. I don't know of any other fancy or extravagant ways or anything else to keep your chinchilla cool. That's as simple as it is, you know. Um, that black little block of marble or whatever that we got from... I think the company when we were getting testers or trying different things when we were building on 
you know you could probably go to one of those like marble and granite places and literally ask them for like a little block that's broken off you could probably do that and they'd give that to you or maybe you have just a tile laying around which is what I had with that other tile um, yeah or you just use tile as bedding in your cage it's really not that difficult to try and avoid these problems and if you are definitely in an area where you know it gets extremely hot then plan for it and get an aircon and also don't put your chinchilla cage in a place that gets direct sunlight try and put them in a cooler spot in your house so i hope i've given you some tips on things to do to keep your chinchillas cool in the heat and yeah safety first kids thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye